guys so today we're gonna start cleaning up uh after the yard real quick uh i usually do some back yard camping here with my nephew sometimes uh, we just like to clean every little other spot from time to time you know just to have a different different campsite every time we do our camping out here right now i'm walking towards my nephew he's uh with a little go-kart we have here that we use as a utility vehicle you know to clean up after the yard I also have this uh, Harbor Freight trailer that I bought to use it to make stuff to, you know, for work. As you can see, this is all mesquite trees. Uh, well, yeah, we got plenty of wood for like a lot of more winters that, that are coming up. So mesquite was the best wood you can find for doing a campfire and cooking, smoking and all that good stuff. Well, yeah, we just uh, gather some up during this time for, you know, October. And then we'll have some for summer and then on summer i'll do another more cutting and then we'll have some for the next winter following up so right now um this guy over here is gonna go uh, get the batteries for our chainsaw we have here our black and decker chainsaw um i don't know i just forgot them i got two of them um so right now i'm gonna send them back over there just go get them on this card real quick Let's see, we gotta start it up. Sometimes it won't even start on choke, it'll just start on the run position, but let's see what we can do. Yeah, we usually have to find a good spot to turn around. The turning rate is not really that good on it. Okay, so right here on the trailer we got a black and thicker 10 inch uh, blade chainsaw and uh, I, some of you might be wondering why I have this uh, tangle here, it's just for uh, extra air, you know, because uh, one of our tires is maybe really punctured by now and uh, yeah, it usually takes maybe about an hour for it to go uh, flat, so we, we don't, we try not to let it go flat. So the bee won't come off. Otherwise, it'll be hard just just to get it on there again. Other than that, we just carry a, a little bit of spare gas right here, gasoline. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we have going on. We got these trees are kind of like you know laying like sideways. I'm gonna go ahead and cut those up, you know, just to gather a little bit more wood. Usually I just, like, try to keep the, the pile just growing a little bit, you know, make sure we have enough wood. Not only for winter, well, it's most of it, most of it is for winter, but, you know, we do like using the mesquite or wood for smoking, grilling, you know. So yeah, let's go ahead and then get started. I'll probably start with that one right there. And then this one over here. And maybe that other one that's laying down the other side.
French down there, they're real caught up in there. I couldn't pull them on myself, so we're going to see what's going on with this part here. About to pile up in this trailer you know this is for i want to say like six months from now you know we got uh, plenty of wood trees right here that we can get wood from yeah we're gonna get a little up Alright guys, so we have it loaded up already here. This guy's laughing for no reason. He's shy to be on YouTube. Oh uh, well, yeah, this is pretty much what we got from this spot it's right here. As you can see, we cleaned. I mean, I'll go ahead and pick these up later. The chainsaw batteries ran out already. We're out of juice. The sun's already about to set, so yeah we got our stuff ready to go back home um uh, yeah this is probably gonna be from like for like six months from now we'll be able to burn this wood already and thanks for watching guys